let's find out the GSM of knitting fabric. If the value of walls, cores, and steel length is given with the count of the yarn, then it's very much easy to find out the GSM of the fabric. Suppose uh, in a fabric the walls per inch is 35 and cores per, cores per inch, that is, uh, number of cores in 1 inch is 28, the stitch length. This means mean the total length of a loop that is if we extend this loop then that would be the stitch length and the stitch length is 2.5 millimeter and count of the yarn is 28 and our duty is to find out the GSM of the fabric GSM means gram per square meter so you would calculate the actually you would calculate the weight of the fabric in meter so uh, as we have to find out the weight of the fabric and for this reason, firstly you have to find out the total length of the yarn in 1 meter. So uh, in whatever value the walls or cores are given, we have to convert it in meter. Suppose here uh, uh, the value of walls is given in per inch and now we have to convert in in meter. We also convert in uh, uh, convert the cores in also meter and we have to convert the millimeter also in meter. The we know uh, point zero to five four meter is equal to 1 inch that's why we, if we divide the walls per inch with 0.0254 then we would find the walls per meter and again if we do the same we will find the course per meter and we would multiply this two with the stitch length per meter stitch length in meter that's why uh, as 1000 millimeter is 1 meter that's why we have divided the 2.5 millimeter with the 1000 so uh, firstly we will get calculate the total length of yarn in 1 meter then our duty is to find out the gram of the uh, yarn or weight of the yarn we know from the uh, conversion value from the uh, yarn that uh, if English count is given then the uh, equation is weight length by length unit and weight by weight unit from there we have uh, done all of these things if you observe this carefully you would be able to understand and uh, here we have multiple this with 1.09 actually as our length unit is 180 yards as uh, all of this in meter to convert in in the same unit we have multiple this in 1.09 and as we will calculate the weight of the yarn in gram that's why we would we use the weight unit as 4 453.6 gram so our whole uh, formula would be if the uh, given data is in inch then the formula would be wpi into cpi into each length into 1.09 into 453.6 by 0 0.0254 into 0 0.0254 into 1000 into 840 into english count here one thing you have to remember that if our data is given course per centimeter then this data would be changed as this was, that was given in inch we divided it by 0 0.0254 if it is given in course per centimeter then we have to divide it by 100 for the same case if it is given in uh, course per centimeter then it divided by 100 and it is given in if it is given in centimeter then you will divide it in by 100 so you have to change it with the given data the, but the main concept is as i said we have to find out the total length of yarn in one meter and you have to uh, find out the weight of the weight of this yarn so i think it would be very much easy for you if we think step wise thank you very much